Welcome again. We have uh, a new tutorial here about the Sardi icons. We are on uh, a Linux Mint system, but that doesn't matter. You can run these scripts anywhere because that's what I want to do. There is a new script in Sardi Mononumix. We're going to do this one. I've made now, maybe it's a good time to recapitulate. So there are five big icons, Sardi, Sardi Flat, Sardi Mono, Sardi Flexible, and the Sardi White, the Ghost Flexible. It's all white icons. So five big folders. Then I changed some names around to tell you, the end user, that if there is a Colora behind it, you can change the colors. If there is Colora behind it, Super flat colora, you can change the colors. Sardi mono colora, that's the plum, that's what you're looking at now. We just made a movie about Sardi mono colora, so omit, omit the plum. You'll see the movie on rdbois.pe. So, this is the one we changed in that movie, and there's another one, Sardi mono new mix colora. Okay, so this is about this one. What's happening here is that we have the standard mononumix. Let's, quick, let's have a quick look. This is the standard look that we are, we are accustomed to when we love. But sometimes you have a new wallpaper. Ta-da! A new wallpaper. Come on. Come on. And, well, the purple does not go with this wallpaper. So we can change it from now. This is the Sardi mononumix Colora. It has a script to change all these folders. As you can see, I've already made a standard look. Let's take a look how that is in real life here. Voila. So this is our look. And this is what we get when we don't touch anything, just download Sardi. So and you some some point you say I don't like these uh, blue colors I want something else so you're going to change it you go to the icons you go to the Sardi Mono Numix Colora and then you see there are presets you can get it orange which is going to be an icon consists of several parts consists of the top a little paper there, the body, and the white icon. So four parts. Sardi, Mono, Numix, actually Numix folders, have four parts to be changed. The icon color, the body color, the top, and the little paper there. Okay, fine. So there are four parts. The four colors should be defined and are defined in all these presets. These are presets. This one are presets, this is a preset, and that's a preset. I'll put them all, all the pictures online on rtpoet.pe so you can see how that looks like before running it. And then we're going to make a new one. Always nice, always a surprise for me. I don't have any color in my mind. I'm just going to be creative. What should you do? What should you do? You start with this one. This is the one you change. This is the one you going to work with so control c control v this is yours this is your creation you know creation we'll change it later doesn't matter how it, it's named we don't know the colors yet because the colors are defined there is a team name orangina it's a theme name new mix eh? orangina new mix top is dark orange a dark orange, top is dark orange, and body is light orange, and icon is dark orange. So you know a little bit, but not of course in detail, what it might look like. That's one. We have our copy ready. Two, we don't we're going to experiment, so we don't we do want to keep the original. So this one, control C, control V. This is this one is an original. Next up is figuring out what colors we want so scalable places i always tend to look for the same one which is the favorite one where is my favorites favorite favorites 
Uh, well, if she doesn't pop up, I'll take another one. Nope, don't see it. So, I'll just one or that one. It actually doesn't matter. It's just a, a way of, of working. And then double click it. Make sure that it opens on Inkscape. Otherwise, since I'm a lot of, I do a lot of work in double click this. Yeah, I double click it. I do a lot of work in designing, so I have it standard here. Otherwise, you say open with, and you make sure that you have the program installed. Inkscape sudo apt install sudo apt get install and then escape with a dash in between somewhere. I'm sure I'm sure you know that. So here it is. One color, another color, another color, and maybe this color if you want to change it. Often I find it often nice to just keep it white, but that's up to you. So this color let's put it here and let's put our little script that we're going to make which is now named creation double click display we are not going to touch the old colors we are going to change the new colors this one so this is going to be my top new color top fine i haven't done anything yet Let's zoom a little bit out. We have here pluses and minus, but I do control scroll on my mouse and then here zoomed out or in, whatever. And then, so maybe first the body. This is the body. I found that the wheel is quite interesting, but you can change here as well if you just want it made a little bit darker or a little bit. And it's, this is the best place to do that. It's quite easy as you can see. And control Z, control Z still works. Let's take the wheel and see what colors we like. In the previous movie, we made a uh, purple folder. I don't have yet a pink folder, so why not take a pink one? And then um, how shall we combine it? Shall we combine it with a blue? Is that better? With a blue or also purple or why not orange? Red, yeah, why not red? And that's the thing I said, that's the most fun stuff than just looking, scrolling making it this slider here and uh, changing it and see what color fits well with this of course you can go to websites and they say this color matches that color but what's the fun in that let's say we take this true should we keep it white i think it's nice white but well you could change it as well let's double click it and then voila we are working so Put it in somewhere in the middle and see what happens. I think white was this is not actually so bad, but white was also good. So control Z. I think white will be my first choice. Or control Y or this. Okay, let's take that. I would prefer to make it a little bit lighter, not too light, not dark, something like that. Okay, done. This is going to be my next preset. Next up, you have to copy paste the color codes from Inkscape to the script. So, top first, Control C, Control V, no Fs, then the body. Control C, Control V, no S. The icon is this one. Control C, Control V, no S. And then new color. Um, the color is the same. I, we have did not change this. Is it interesting to change it? Yeah, maybe. So it's a good thing to 
just try it out. Um, if you like this, why not? Eh? Anything is possible, you see? Colors, there are 60 million colors. I don't know what you like, but you know what you like. So just take a look around and say this is the combination I want to look at for the next week or so and then this might be it I'm going to keep it white so I'm not going to copy paste it close voila, and it's still white here and then we're going to save it and run it but why couldn't we play cards? okay nice and then we are going to the savvy mono we've made our creation we haven't run it so let's run it voila it's going done we have a new team and then you go to the team manager you see already some changes here ah was it was it that green i chose that kind of green well yeah it is what it is i thought i had chosen another color anyway it's all taste and it's all whatever you like. Oh look, the plum, the plum version and this version are practically the same. But it's also just a technical movie. The colors are so personal, so go check it out what you like. So this is now your look. What's next? Next you go to the Savvy Mono Numix. You can get rid of this. All right, you can change this, but I don't know what in what name. So let's be let's check the G pick. You press on the tool, and then you yeah, let's make it a bit smaller, and then you go to this folder. This folder doesn't change. Voila. and I suppose it's also going to be plum. No, it's hot pink. So let's call it hot pink. So my creation this hot pink is the name it's not necessary of course just for fun and then the top is green the body is body 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 is uh, purple and I can don't remember it as dark purple I think dark purple if you don't change anything dark purple yeah if you don't change anything to the paper well just leave it at that otherwise add paper is going to be yellow or something huh? so now we have a new preset that we can upload and share with other people and um, we have a new theme what's next it's uh, called hot pink so let's call it that way Sardi Mono Numix Colora Pink. Everything is broken, of course. You're pointing in the team manager to a name that does not exist anymore. So this exists now Sardi Mono Numix Colora Hot Pink. And we have almost, we're almost done. We should check this as well the index theme cache deleted just to be sure index theme not necessary but in some districts maybe it is hot pink hot pink hot i don't know what did i call it colora hot pink so that's okay save we're finished we have our new system the only thing we should do maybe is take another wallpaper that has a little bit more pink inside it but for the rest, our task is done. Numix is ready for you to be creative, to change colors and share it with other people as that is the Linux way. Have fun.